Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, this three-time world champion is a veteran of over 120 fights. His professional record, 99 wins, 25 losses, three bouts scored even, 41 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet, nine inches tall, 1.75 meters, he weighed in at 141 and one half pounds, 64.2 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Lyon, France, please welcome Fabio Pinca. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, a glory contender, tournament champion. His record, 55 wins with 11 losses, four bouts scored even, 18 of those wins by knockout. At five feet, seven inches tall, 1.70 meters, he weighed in at 142 and one half pounds, 64.6 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Morocco, ladies and gentlemen, Moussa the Jaguar of Ronnie. Your referee in charge of the glory ring, Atsushi Onari. So the draw rate is okay. Three round, three minutes, okay. Check on. Hold on. Stick on. Stick on. Judge. Judge. Hey! Underway, scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the featherweight division. Mosab Amrani in the white gloves and Fabio Pinka in the black. This is one of the fights I was super excited about when I heard it was announced. I'm big fans of both of these guys. And especially if you watch a lot of Muay Thai, you can see how talented Pinka is. And he was the only uh, non... See? Thai fighter to ever beat Sanchai, which is a huge accomplishment. And he wants to be known like fighters like Ramon Deckers, who dominated the Thai scene in Muay Thai. Fabio Pinka holds several World Muay Thai Championships. He was the Lion Fight welterweight champion back in 2013. But where Mosab has the advantage is where you saw there. Mosab is a good pressure fighter, and he really needs to get on the inside and really let those power in his hands go. Amrani coming off the unanimous decision loss to Sergei Adamchuk. That was for the featherweight title back at Glory 28 Paris. He wasn't happy with his weight nope. cut during that fight, so hopefully he said this time around he had a better weight cut and feels a lot better. And Fabio Pinka still looking for his first victory in Glory. And he did lose back at Glory 1 and 3. Again, I think he had a tough transition going from Muay Thai to kickboxing early on. Bosov is doing a good job with his low kicks and body punches. That kick pushed Pinka back. Although Pinka comes from that Muay Thai background, he does have good hands. And once you see his hands fly, you can be very impressive. kick and in their first fight it was a very close first two rounds but it, it was the third round where Pinka really picked up and scored a knockdown so it looks like the, the later rounds will, will favor Pinka fighters clinch and are separated reset in the middle of the glory ring nice exchange there Pinka got a jab through two that caught on him there's that Ronnie this is what he needs to do stay in that Good exchange. All fighters firing now. Stop. This is where Mosab shines. Hey. Puts his head down and really throws some big power punches, mixing levels with his punches. It's Pinka that's throwing the combinations, both upstairs and low. Hey. 15 seconds to go in round one. And you already see Mosab constantly attacking that body. He had a, both guys own a win over Liam Harrison, and there was that left hook by Mosab which finished Harrison. Stop. That's gonna do it for round one. Let's take a closer look now at the Jaguar, Mosab Amrani.
Well, Seven Riley, like he was doing later in that round, is really known for his aggressive, straightforward style. And keep looking out for that left hook to the body. And he does have good low kicks. And he will switch stances a lot, like he did to win his Glory Featherweight Contender Tournament at Glory 26. On the flip side, here are the numbers for Fabio Pinka. Fabio Pinka, very well-established Muay Thai fighter. But he is good in kickboxing rules as well because he has good boxing and good kicks on the outside. And look who's here. The featherweight champion, Robin Van Roosmolen. Yes, I did not say lightweight champion. The former lightweight champion went down to the featherweight division this year, and he captured himself a bit. Fight! Underway, round two. Fabio Pinka in the black gloves. Mosab Amrani in the white. Ron Kruk and Joseph Altolini ringside for Glory 36 Germany. And here comes Amrani Fight! picking up the pace in the second round. Pinka just keeps chipping away, but Mosab's doing a vicious job attacking. Not many are landing, but still doing a lot of good pressure. And I'd like to see him mixing some kicks. Firing some shots early on. Mosab Amrani, 18 out of his 15, or 55, excuse me, victories have come by way of knockout. And you can see the, the difference. It's more Pinka really picking his shots, staying a little bit more relaxed. And that's why he had an advantage in the third round in their first fight. Mosab's style requires a lot of energy to get inside and throw everything with power, where Pinka's picking his shots a little bit more. Break. Under Break. two to go. Fighters are separated. Namrani goes on the attack. Pinka caught and a couple body shots from Amrani. Right hook gets through from Amrani. Here comes Pinka. And Pinka's just picking his shots and staying really active, and it's really wearing down Mosab in this round. Stinging jab knocked the head of Amrani backwards. Wait! Kick blocked by Amrani. Pink is constantly switching stances, so it's very difficult for Mosab to find his, his, his kicks and Stop. find his range on his punches. Fight! Coming up on one minute to go in round two, scheduled for three. 127 professional fights for Fabio Pinka. Europe's most accomplished fighters in the sport of Muay Thai. I'm Ronnie. Enjoying a lot of combinations. You know, he's the veteran guy here, Joseph. He, he wants to prove he can still make another run at Glory Gold. He made at number two, ranked in the featherweight division. Pink is finding success with his straight punches as Mosab's coming in. But Mosab's just ate a high kick, but Mosab is very durable and very aggressive. He'll just keep Fight. coming forward. Amrani, as you said, took that high kick, and that would stop a lot of fighters in their track. He just kept moving forward. All right, round number two in the books. Let's check out some of the highlights, beginning with Pinka. Well, it starts off a lot of Mosab doing a lot of good damage on the inside, but a lot of them are blocked by Pinka, and Pinka just stays in his guard and stays defensive, but he found a lot of good success using his straight punches because Mosab needs to get inside, but Pinka's not going to make it easy. Mosab's going to have to eat a few straight punches if he's going to get inside to land his body punches. Close. Two rounds. How do you have this one scored, Joseph? Well, that first round could go anyway. Um, that could easily be a draw round number one. Uh, number two, I'm giving a pinka. So it's still up in the air, and Mosab needs a big third round. Out. Round 
three. Here we go. Mosop Amrani and Fabio Pinka. They come out throwing. Some swelling under the right eye of Mosop Amrani. Looked like they used the entire bucket of Vaseline to put under that one. Yeah, they got that end swell on there, trying to get that swelling down. And they did a good job at controlling it. For all the information on Glory, make sure you check out our website, gloryworldseries.com. And Amrani firing now. Yeah, he's staying in the pocket and throwing. That's what he needs to hey. do. But that experience of pickup just stays very relaxed, moves his distance, and picks apart on the outside. Pushing Pinka back against the ropes, but the Frenchman counters. This was very similar to their first fight. The first two rounds were very close. A lot of back and forth exchanges, but it was that third round in their first fight where Pinka really picked it up and scored a knockdown. Under two to go. Check out the punch distribution. Pinka throwing 10 more. Stop. And all Pink. to the head. Not one body shot thrown Pink. from Pinka. Now he really he uses his kicks more to attack the body, where Mosap uses his punches. And that's, what, that's why the swelling is uh, happening on Mosap Amrani's face. Pink. He's eating a lot of punches. Pinka slowly picking away those legs. They're not super powerful, but they're adding up. Mosa can't even stand up anymore. He's constantly switching inside, outside, left leg. Fabio Pinka came into this featherweight fight, not ranked 0-2 in glory, looking to pull off a major upset against Amrani. Pinka's a good name to mix in with the featherweights. Oh, yeah. I'd love to see him with Matt Emery. I'd love to see him with Van Roos Mullen. I'd love to see him with Adam Chuck. Great future matchups. That's why the champ, Van Roos Mullen, has special interest here in Germany. Checking out this featherweight bout. Ron, who almost his legs look rubber right now as Pinka continues to tenderize that. Front leg, left leg of Amrani. Mosab has really made a name for himself by being super tough, constantly coming forward no matter what. So his punches get through too. We have 10 seconds to go. In the third and final round, Fabio Pinka looking for his first victory in the glory ring. Once again, the judges are staying busy here at Glory 36. We'll get the final decision. That's next. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals. They score this bout 29-28, Amrani. 29-28, Pinka. And the final three judges, 29-28, 29, 27, and 30, 27, all for your winner by split decision, Fabio Pinka! Fabio Pinka has earned his first victory in glory tonight. He moves to one and two and earns his 100th professional victory winner by split decision there's more glory 36 from germany coming up